Hey guys, David Desai. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about Jungkook and his tattoos. Now this is a topic that everyone's talking about. And I just want to jump into it. If you're new here and you'd like to be the first to leave comments, or if you're a hater and you'd like to be the first to leave comments, don't forget the subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified to be the first to do so. Special shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for requesting certain videos. And thank you so much for just overall just being there. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, please make sure you check out my Patreon. I'll leave it down in the description down below. And uh, yeah, let's jump into the video. Now, I kind of want to just get a brief overview overview about the tattoo policies in South Korea. Now, there's no specific law that says that you can't have a tattoo. It is just more so frowned upon. Similar to like, there's no law that says K-pop idols can't drink or smoke or any of that stuff, but it is completely prohibited within the entertainment industry and it's definitely frowned upon. So depending on which agency or entertainment you're a part of, getting a tattoo is completely no-no. Like Blackpink wouldn't be able to do something like that. Now in South Korea, getting a tattoo also is a sign of being a deviant, being rebellious and things like that. It is less seen as a form of expression and more so a form of, oh, you're a rebellious kid. And that standard pretty much applies to anyone in Korea, especially K-pop idols because they're seen by more people. And this standard is even more intensified if it's a girl group. But dude, I don't care what you have on you. You can literally have like your whole body tatted up, including your face and everything. But if you make good music and you're a good person, I don't care what you do. Like the tattoo thing really needs to kind of like, you just need to like not care so much. And tattoos in South Korea are kind of seen as unattractive. And over here in America, it's seen as manly. So th there kind of is a difference of culture here. So the first one I wanted to talk about and kind of show was Jungkook kind of coming off the airport in New Zealand. I believe it was New Zealand. And you can kind of see the tattoos on his knuckles where it says army. Now this tattoo over here, if you look kind of closely, the words are kind of faded. And if it's a new tattoo, given the fact that there are literally no other videos and photos of him doing this prior, a new tattoo like that wouldn't have faded so easily. So my hunch is that actually is a henna tattoo. That is not a real tattoo. So people freaking out over having his whole hand tattooed need to just chill out. There was footages in Bon Voyage 4. His tattoo was covered up and I, people believe it was a makeup artist. That is totally possible. I don't know if they would go that far as to covering it up, but if they're part of an entertainment and they're in Korea, I wouldn't be surprised. I can't really show footage of that because it's gonna get copyrighted and everything. So you're just gonna take my word for it or go and check out Bon Voyage for yourself. A lot of it was covered up and it was weird because you saw him at the airport with certain tattoos and then during the episode, he didn't have the tattoos. He also has a tattoo where you can see 0613 and people were kind of speculating as to what that is. Pretty much when it comes to numbers in K-pop, it's 10 to always going to be dates. So if you see numbers in a title or you see numbers anywhere, it's going to be dates. So we're looking at June 2013 and that is when their debut happened. So obviously this date is most important to them. So obviously that is going to be a tattoo. I think that is a fine tattoo to get. Honestly, if anyone's getting upset over a tattoo like that, they need to get their life together. Girl, a debut, this like started their career. He's allowed to have that tattoo on his hand. Just putting it out there, like honestly, I don't care what tattoo you get, but it's not even like it's a dumb tattoo. Like if it's a dumb tattoo, I can see why you're getting angry. This is a tattoo that's like worth getting. Also, they're slightly covered up. You see Han Kool tattoo and people tend to believe this is a Nirvana lyrics where it says, I'd rather die than live without passion. And I think that's very, very cool. I think again, that is also a tattoo that is very much worth getting. We also are seeing like a skeleton that's saying an I love you sign. And that is just very cute. Although I don't think that that is a necessary tattoo to get, but that is my opinion. I wouldn't get that. That doesn't mean he can't get that. It doesn't mean the skeleton doesn't mean something more to him. If anything, it could be like a dead relative saying, I love you. And he had that tattoo to him. You don't know what it means. You also got to be aware that some of these pictures were kind of hard to find. So uh, as an army, you develop an eagle eye for these things. So that is the end of that rant. I hope you learned something here about the tattoos and everything that was going on with Jungkook and his tattoos. Hope this was helpful for you. Please let me know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, featuring in this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving comments. Please check out my Patreon. I'll leave it in the link down in the description down below. There are videos over there that I can't necessarily upload here. So I wanted to upload it over there and I hope you enjoy and that it really helps support this channel. So please go give it a check. And there are two videos at the end of this video. So either way, I'll see you over there. Bye. <laughs>